I'm telling you God had a plan. He's like, you don't understand what I'm doing right now. And that's how it is. It is. That's how it is when you're in the middle. Like, you're and literally yeah, just like, in the fog. Yeah, I'm like, help me, Lord. Like, yeah. at least give me some money that I'm going through all this yeah. stuff. <laughs> but he's like, you have no idea why I'm doing this. Mm-hmm. And now I do. Yeah. I get it. Man, that's something. Yeah. That's how it is, though. When you're right in the middle, you're just confused, lost, and you're like, you going to help me or not, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And then afterwards, you're like, oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you know another thing, too, um, is that I went to this women's, they have like a, a church in the area, and they do like a women's conference. Yeah. And, um, we had a women pass, a woman pastor there, and she's like, hey, you know, I want everybody, this is right around when everything happened, and she says, I want you to have a word for next year. I remember sitting there, Chris, and I'm like, okay, cool. She says, well, you'll be given your word from God. Everybody just take a moment. And, and the first word that popped in my mind was hope. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, it's the lamest word ever. Like, <laughs> hope, really? Like, I think of hope as in you, I'm hoping I get a raise. I'm hoping my dad brings me a candy bar, right? Like, that's yeah. so lame. So typical summer style, I sit there and say, no, that's not my word. All right, God, give me another word. Well, give me you know, another you word. Because know, I, I tell God what to do. <laughs> and uh, so I'm sitting there, and I just over and over in my head, hope, hope, hope. I'm like, oh, my gosh, fine. That's Couldn't my lame it. word. Yeah. So I write it down, and, you know, um, then I was going through a really hard time, and she says, okay, we're going to pray over everybody. If you need special prayer, raise your hand. So a couple people came over, put their hand on me, and everybody just prays a regular prayer. Right after that, a girl came up to me, and she says, you know, um, and this sounds really weird, but I just have to come and tell you that God – wanted me to come over to you and tell you that he is the healer and mender of all hearts. This girl doesn't know my situation. Mm. It's the first time I've gone to this church. Oh, my hands are standing up. And I turn around and I just kind of tear up and I'm like, okay, thank you. And I leave there and I'm like, well, that was odd, but pretty cool. And I go home and I just felt the urge to research the word hope in a biblical fashion, not Mm -hmm. in my meaning of Mm -hmm. hope or the way Mm -hmm. we might use it. And what I found was that hope is now I'm gonna forget of course but hope is um, that confident expectation Mm -hmm. of what God is going to do if he's gonna do what he says he's gonna do Mm -hmm. it's the confident expectation in God and I thought oh my Mm -hmm. gosh that's amazing and then you You got a verse for us Oh, you know it well (laughs) Jeremiah 29 11 is what so of course I started researching I'm like all right well what verses have hope in it and, you know, Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. Mm-hmm. And I just stuck with that. He has plans for me. My plans are not necessarily God's plans. Yeah. So I held on to that. I still have it up into my house, in my mm-hmm. house to this day. But just having that word, and I try to tell everybody, and you don't have to do it at the beginning of the year. That's just typical what people yeah. do. But, yeah. you know, if you don't have, sit down, have some quiet time. And ask God, because if I've noticed anything, I get the best when I'm not distracted. And I am distracted all day. Yeah. Every day. My mind is going a million miles a minute. We're all busy. Yeah. But until I quiet my mind, I'm not going to hear what God has got to say. So um, I think if you could just go in the bathroom. If you've got children, you know, and I know you can't hide from them, go in the closet for a few minutes and just say, God, give me, tell me what you want me to hear or give me a word. And then run with that and you're gonna see that word pop up everywhere you go it's it's cool for real <laughs> i want to do that <laughs> yeah you need to you made me think of the verse in hebrews faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen mm. and when i read that verse i mean it ties in directly what you're talking about the That's confident important. confident like you're just confident that it's going to happen mm-hmm. um when you have faith and when you have hope um yeah, and having that peace. I, I got that peace. Yeah. That's the craziest thing is going through all of that. I've had this weird sense of peace, that that shalom, mm-hmm. right, that only God can give. Yeah. And I know it came from there because mm-hmm. it sure in the heck wouldn't come from yeah. myself. <laughs> I'm a hot mess. Yeah. We got so many things running in our mind all day. Um, but one thing I think would be good for you to share, like, because you're still on this journey. You're still, mm-hmm. like, working on your heart I'm working on my heart we're all working on our hearts but what do you do every day because people listen to this like there's somebody out there going through a storm right now Mm -hmm. you know what advice would you give them what do you do every day to kind of keep yourself grounded 
to, to connect and make sure you're plugged into the source to have that mm -hmm. shalom, to have that peace, to have grace. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, I need to be better, if mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest. I need yeah. to be better with getting more into my Bible. And really, um, there's uh, one book that I have. Um, it's just daily um, short prayers. That's great. But, you know, a lot of people, I'm not a reader. I'm just not. I don't like to read. So Bible audio, people. What'd you say? Bible audio. Yes. <laughs> I, well, clearly, I need that. It's, it's not that I can't. I promise I can read. I just don't like to. Um, but to me, like sometimes every day, there is a time. I don't care if it's a, I'm driving. I don't care if I'm going to the bathroom, right? I don't care what I'm doing. But I take time, and I'm just like, I think of things that I'm thankful for. Mm. And I thank him. Because we can get in the habit of just constantly reaching out to God, saying, God, okay, God, I need your help with this. Oh, my gosh, I'm struggling here. But what are you thankful for? Yeah. What if you were to wake up the next day and only have the things that you thanked God for? Think about that for a second. Mm, right? I like that. I mean, what would you have? Mm -hmm. Some days I'd have nothing. Mm. So I need to check myself yeah. and say, I, I got a home. My kids are safe. Mm -hmm. And healthy you know mm -hmm. I have food yeah just simple things oh, yeah thank God for those things mm -hmm. because there are so many people that go without so I think it's just it's hard and I know it is and mentally you know I suffer from, from anxiety um, just living in that fight-or-flight mode for so long and worrying and I have learned that praising through the storm praising through um, you know I, I sit there and say you tell me, God, you say, do not be anxious about anything. I said, pray about everything. Mm -hmm. And when I'm starting to get that anxiety, I, I say that out loud. There is power in the tongue. There Preach. is power in speaking Preach. out. So I'm yeah. not kidding you when I say, I've got my kids sometimes, I do it when they're not around because they will freak out. But sometimes I do it when they're there. I mean, I've taken my Bible and I've walked through my house and said, not today. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. You ain't doing it. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, I am not a sufferer of anxiety. I'm trying to be attacked right now, and God's got me. Amen. And so I just say that over, yeah. and I protect my home. Um, so it may feel weird when you start doing that. So, yeah. again, start it by yourself. Um, but do it. And it's just so much power in speaking it out. You can say that in your mind. You can read something. But when you speak it out, be gone, Satan. Yeah.